Okay, hi friends. Um, I want to talk to you guys about something that has really been vexing me recently. And I don't know, I just, I need to talk about this because really, for me, it's getting out of hand at this point. It really is. So, basically, I want to talk about this relationship between authors and reviewers and how I feel like their relationship is getting worse and worse by the day. Um, so today in particular, I want to talk about this author, Lauren Huff. Um, I have never heard of this person before. I don't know what book they've written. I, I frankly don't give a fuck. But they were on my timeline today. A lot of people were responding to something that they said. And it was this tweet and it just said like, grow up. And it was a screenshot. And I wasn't really paying it any attention, but all my mutuals were like pretty up in arms about it. So I was like, you know what? Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna see what they had to say. Like, what's going on? What are they talking about? And basically this author, Author, Lauren Huff they are angry because somebody gave their book a four-star review and they're literally they made a whole thread about this how pissed off they are how these people are assholes all this other stuff and it's really insane to me like I don't understand what is going on in the minds of authors I don't understand why they are continuously like attacking reviewers I don't understand what they feel they gain from it it just doesn't make sense to me so I think that we should just we should look at this incident as a case study and try to figure out literally what the fuck is going on in authors minds when they decide to go on these little Twitter rants about how terrible and awful and horrible reviewers are because I do think that reviewers can sometimes write reviews that are mean and I can understand that on like a basic human level you know everyone has emotions and shit and if you're a creator and you create something you feel really passionate about it I can understand maybe being angry being upset that a person didn't like your creation I get that however what I don't get is why I feel like authors are actively attacking reviewers for shit that doesn't even make sense in this case why in the entire fuck is this author attacking reviewers for giving their book a 4.5 out of 5 stars it's just not fucking making sense so let's look at this let's let's go over it and let's discuss I'm gonna show you the screenshots that I have the person has already blocked me so if there are more screenshots there's, there's more stuff I can't see it because I'm blocked okay so Lauren Huff they start their little thread and they say I went over to Goodreads because I'm an unhealthy person who checks these things look at that some self-awareness very unhealthy to be checking on Goodreads reviews if you can't handle reviews don't know why the fuck you're on there but okay it's all this review by Andrea and I'm crying thank you Andrea truly ha 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 whatever so they saw a good review they were happy about it they chose to share that with their audience cool then they go on to say, glad to see most of the Goodreads assholes still giving four star reviews to sh show their super tough reviewers who need to like fall in love, you know. Anyway, no one likes you. What in the fuck are you talking about? What was this escalation? Like you saw somebody give you a good review, a five star review, and then you immediately said, yeah, but anybody who gave me a four star review, they're Goodreads assholes. You know, because they're super tough reviewers. Maybe they just don't think that your book is worth five stars. Maybe that's something that you need to, you know, you need to internally reflect or some shit. Because there's absolutely no reason why you'd be mad at somebody for not giving your book five stars. They still gave it four stars. The four stars are still good. That means that they enjoyed it. That means they think it was a good book. There's absolutely no reason for you to be calling those people assholes. If you had saw a bunch of like one star reviews and you was mad, like, okay, that, that would hurt me if I saw a bunch of one star reviews for my book. I understand that. But why are you up in arms about four star reviews? It's just not making sense. Oh, these reviewers think they're so tough giving me four stars. Like, no, maybe they just think your book isn't worth five stars. Like, maybe they think it's good, but it's not worth five stars. It's very simple. It's very easy. It's very in your face. Absolutely no fucking reason for you to be calling these people assholes. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. But okay. Anyways, no one likes you. This is a quote from this person. Anyways, no one likes you. Next tweet. Grow up. You need to grow up. You sound like you're in the fifth grade. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Somebody needs to grow up. You need to grow up. You can't accept even the barest of criticism. Not even criticism. Just a four-star review. Like, if even if this review was coupled with, like, actual criticism that you felt was, you know, in bad faith or something like that, that would make sense. But the screenshot that she shows when she says that these people need to grow up, literally is nothing fucking wrong with it. Debbie says, I just finished this too. 4.5 stars and I'm rounding it up. Working on my review now. Hannah says, yes, such a good book. I gave it 4.5, but I rounded it down. 
literally what the fuck is wrong with a 4.5 star review do you not know how to do fractions 4.5 out of 5 stars you got an A you got an A they gave you an A on the fucking paper like you did good you passed I have absolutely no idea why you're angry about this you are attacking and putting these people on blast for giving you a good review it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense and it continues to not make no fucking sense so then their next tweet they're screenshotting some other five star review and they're like oh you know this person is so cool haha <laughs> thank you for the five star review okay fine then their next tweet all the writers scared to even like that tweet i see you i will hate them out loud for you i know they're scary as shit fucking nerds on a power trip you forgot to assign homework motherfuckers what are you talking about are you okay first of all why how are you going to say i will hate them out loud for you you will hate people who give you a four star review you're hating those people four star reviews i mean what do you feel for people who give you a one star like are you plotting their murder or some shit because i don't understand it like what is this escalation the five star reviewers you love them they're the best people in the world but four star reviewers you hate them they're the worst they're assholes they're power tripping nerds what what are you talking about like i i just can't i can't understand this like what is what is going on in your mind what are, what what are the leaps of logic that is making you feel like a four star review is the worst thing in the world something to be upset about like i don't i don't get it and then their final tweet in this thread it says book bloggers found this and are taking it very seriously because everyone knows every stoned ass 3 a.m tweet is extremely serious and must be taken seriously first of all you being high that just makes the shit worse like you got clearly some terrible weed i mean the worst strain imaginable because there's absolutely no reason why you should be in the middle of your high ranting on fucking twitter about fucking power tripping nerds talk to your weed man and get some better weed sis because this shit doesn't make sense there we go we have our case study we are studying the mysterious case of what the fuck are these authors on because it's not making sense to me at this point that you could be angry about a four star review a 4.5 star review what is there to be angry about this person actively said that this is a good book that they enjoyed your book and you are angry and then for you to bullshit your way out of it and say like oh i was high you know it doesn't count it does count it does count whether you want it to count or not it does count because because you said they're assholes power tripping nerds i hate you blah 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 fucking blah and you screenshotted them putting them on blast but suddenly it's not that serious you know it's not that serious because i'm getting backlash it, i didn't mean it for real are you sure you didn't mean it because you seem to mean it when you said writers i will hate them for you what is there to hate what is there to be angry about i understand that as a creative as a person who is writing and putting your work out there i understand that it could be difficult for you to see people critiquing you or having their own interpretations maybe misinterpreting you maybe interpreting your work in bad faith maybe you know engaging with it in bad faith i can understand that and i can understand being angry about those kind of takes and having feelings about them and wanting to talk about them i can understand that but somebody actively saying that they think your book is good and you are angry about that on twitter publicly angry i don't get it so not only are you angry and upset at these goodreads reviewers who are power tripping by doing the wild and outlandish thing of rating a book on a social media website all about rating and logging books that you read i don't understand like what is there to be angry about what what is the point like i just am so confused at this point like what are authors going through that this is something that they are continuously doing like why are you engaging in these obviously very unhealthy and toxic behaviors to your own personal well-being and they actively said that like oh this is unhealthy you know because i'm checking goodreads this is unhealthy it is unhealthy it is very unhealthy if you can have a reaction like this to somebody writing a four star review somebody giving you four stars and this is something that you are angry about that i don't understand it like what did you gain from going on goodreads from hurting your own feelings by seeing four star reviews Woo, how horrible um you hurt your own feelings by doing that you were clearly upset about this why i don't know i can't personally fathom like what is so upsetting about it but you're clearly upset about these things so why do you go on goodreads why would you blatantly go into a space where you know there are going to be people reviewing your books and people who exist outside of your own brain who have their own thoughts and opinions are going to express their thoughts and opinions about your book which may not lead to a five-star review 
why would you go into that space knowingly and then leave angry? You knew what you was going to see there. You knew what you were going to see there. And you knew that you knew because you said it was unhealthy when you did it. So it just doesn't make sense. Like, it doesn't make sense. I think that authors need to, they need to create a firmer boundary between themselves and Goodreads. Stop going on Goodreads if it's going to upset you like that. Don't do it. Get a fucking friend. Get a friend. DM them. Talk to them in real life. Get a coffee and talk about those, you know, those power tripping reviewers on Goodreads. If it's really vexing you. Talk to your fucking therapist about it. Get in a group chat with some other authors and y'all can rant about that shit if you want. Like, I don't know. Go outside and touch some fucking grass because it's really not that serious. Like, it really doesn't... It really is not making sense to me at this point. And I feel like, you know, now what I'm seeing is a lot of people on Twitter are like, Oh, you know, this person is so weird. I'm never going to read their book now. Whatever. And I mean, Twitter is really a small niche space. So a lot of readers are not going to see this. A lot of readers are not going to give a fuck about this. And I'm not saying that like, Ugh, this author is cancelled or whatever. I'm not trying to cancel this author. But I think that this is something that is very weird and that continues to happen. Where authors will go into a space like Goodreads. They'll see a review and then they'll be mad about it. And they'll be like, Ugh, this is so horrible and disrespectful and mean and I'm angry about this and they'll be like you know trying to attack these reviewers trying to put them on blast the, I feel like the ridiculousness of the situation is especially highlighted by the fact that these people actively said this is a good book I like this book gave it a high rating 4.5 out of 5 stars this is a very high rating to receive on a book and this person is raving and ranting about it angry it just doesn't make sense somebody anybody Point to me where in this situation there arose something that is worthy of being upset about. Because you getting a good review on your book, getting a good rating, a high rating on your book, is not something to be angry about. It's not something to come on Twitter about and be wiling out while you're high. Oh, I was high, so it really doesn't count. I just think that this shit is just weird. Like, is it just me? Am I just, like, not understanding? Because I feel like this shit is very weird. It's very weird, it's very strange, and I want authors to just get it together. Get a journal, get a therapist, do something. But if the Bears critique have you fucked up like this, you need some kind of help because this just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. And I just, I don't even know what else to say about it at this point. But I just wanted to talk about this because I thought it was really weird and I feel like it's a pattern that we continue to see where authors continue to engage in very strange behavior as it relates to reviewers and they have this kind of like really intense, passionate like hatred and dislike for reviewers for whatever reason. And I mean, okay, I guess, do you? But it's just strange to me. It's just really weird. I wanted to talk about it and that's pretty much it. So let me know your thoughts on this situation if you saw it on Twitter. If you didn't and you don't give a fuck, thanks for watching um, and I'll see you all in my next video I guess. So bye you guys.